Hi everybody, I'm in Cunningham from Vets GB. Welcome to this episode of Engineering the Jigsaw. Foundation level episode number 13, why is traceability needed? So in this episode today, we're going to think about how engineers understand the context of a specific project. Essential knowledge for this episode is that engineering is about developing a sufficient understanding of a problem to be able to develop an appropriate solution for it. Nowadays, of course, this process of developing a solution is based on mathematics and the sciences. Now, for as long as humans have existed, there has probably been some form of engineering. And I can say this with good confidence because the development of stone tools around 3.3 million years ago, pretty much when humans first came out of the Rift Valley in Africa, was a solution to the problems of needing to gather food and build shelters. As human understanding of mathematics and the sciences has developed though, engineering has, has led to the solution of more complex problems such as the construction of buildings and structures. So for example, there's Gebleki Tepe in Turkey around 12,000 years old, which at the time of filming, I think is the oldest recognized building on the face of the planet. And of course, the modern world is completely shaped by the results of engineering. Results of engineering include things such as machines and technologies. So technologies like the internet, internal combustion engine, of course, machines such as vehicles, computing systems within them, structures and processes. The increasing complexity of the problems being solved has led to the formalization of the engineering process and also diversification within engineering in, in terms of specialization. So we have software engineers, hardware mechanical engineers, electromechanical engineers, chemical engineers, soft, uh, software engineers have already done, systems engineers, control engineers, uh, civil engineers, structural engineers, you, loads of different flavors of engineer nowadays because of the, the complexity of the problems we're solving and the level of knowledge needed to solve them. But there's some common aspects to all these fields of engineering that, and it is understanding what is your problem. So understanding and exploring the whole problem is essential to find an appropriate solution within engineering. And it's common to need to break a problem down into smaller pieces or sub problems to understand it. This process of creating sub problems is called decomposition and it may be repeated many times. So we take our big problem, split that into sub problems. We take those sub problems, we split them into sub problems. We may even do it again and maybe even again. The sub problems that we are developing during this process of decomposition though should focus on answering the question what or where, who and when, not how. We'll come to how very shortly. Each of the sub problems though becomes a goal that should be met by the eventual solution. Understanding the relationships between sub problems and their parent problems or sub problems is one aspect of traceability. Traceability is a, a huge topic. We're just going to cover some of the uh, bits most relevant for, for Vector in, in today's episode. Once though we've understood the what of our problem, so we think we've got a sufficient understanding of our problem, we can start to develop solutions by asking how. So now is the time for how. The answer for each sub problem provides a part of the overall solution. And of course these individual solution aspects may be linked as well. And establishing links between the what's and the related hows and between the, the individual hows is another part of traceability. Having traceability is really essential when solving complex problems. And that's because it's traceability that allows us to judge whether we have completely solved our problem. And it also allows us to refine our solution if our understanding of the problem changes. So with a complex problem, typically as we start to solve it, we will realize there are some other aspects of the problem that we maybe didn't consider at first, 
Maybe we considered in the wrong way. And so our understanding of the problem changes. And then we need to understand whether our solution needs to be changed to match that changed understanding. Maybe even there's parts of the solution that don't cover our whole understanding of the new whole understanding of the problem. So another aspect of traceability then is also in relation to change. So understanding why changes happen, so whatever caused them and whomever initiated them maybe and who uh, who actually enacted them, when that was, if there's any kind of knock-on effects, that's all part of traceability as, as well. And with good traceability, it's it's not just something that we can do we don't just have a path from our problem down to our, our solution. We can also reverse the process and ask why for each part of our solution and good traceability from our, from our solution elements, good traceability asking why takes us back up to our problem. So why do I have this thing? It's because I need to solve that problem up here and, and, that's, and that coming down the way is how. So we have why, solution to problem, how, problem to solution. So it's a two-way process. So we can check that we have a whole understanding of the problem and solution, make sure we've covered both sufficiently well. And by phrasing our sub-problems correctly, we can test each individual solution to make sure they have been solved sufficiently well. Relating the results of testing to their respective sub-problems is therefore another part of traceability. So here we've just put in a link that shows we have a, a test result, the, the green mark to, to the uh, white jigsaw piece, and the, the red and, and grey jigsaw pieces there don't have a relationship to that test result, so we don't know that they've been solved yet. Now, because vehicle EE systems comprise subsystems and these in turn comprise components, such as ECUs, wiring harnesses, fuse boxes, and so on. And these in turn comprise more components. The problem to solution process is layered. And within each layer, the previous solution becomes a new problem to solve. And so we need to have traceability between the layers of our multiple layers of problem and, and solution to understand as we come back up whether our lowest level solution fulfills the higher level problems that we've expressed. Eventually, of course, the problem becomes one of fundamental science such as physics or chemistry and the answer at that point is hopefully clear. As a summary, in modern engineering processes, traceability is what helps engineers to understand how complex problems have been split into sub-problems, potentially many, many times over, how each aspect of a sub-problem is solved and the relationships between them, the dependencies that may exist between the solutions of different sub-problems. And this is really important. So with complex systems and, and problems, things that we tend to care about like safety and security are not typically uh, characteristics of an individual part. They are a characteristic of the whole once all the parts are put together. They're called emergent properties. So when we find weaknesses, we can improve the overall solution by making changes at the level of elements. But what we do is we improve the, the properties of the whole, potentially exponentially. So traceability is also key in helping us understand where changes need to be made when our understanding of the problem alters. And it is when our understanding of the problem alters, not if. And then of course, when and where changes were made and why and who by is, a, is another aspect. Expressing our sub-problems correctly helps us to test our solutions and having traceability allows us to link test results, which is our evidence that we've done the right thing, back to our overall problem to be able to understand if it's been appropriately and completely solved. So for further information on traceability and, and how Vector helps with this, please visit our website and watch our webinars to understand how we've incorporated features that facilitate establishing traceability into projects in our products such as Prevision, our digital engineering platform for development of vehicle EE systems with full traceability all the way through projects. 
Vitesse Studio and Canoe for tracing test requirements through test implementation and results. And in the area of diagnostics, Canoe option Diva, which allows us to, to generate tests for, for the diagnostic part of, of, of a ECU application and make sure that that is doing everything and generating the evidence for that. Vectorcast for software system and unit testing with results linked back again to the original goals for, for the software. Score, new addition to the vector family, which allows you to visualize progress towards achieving traceability in a project. VCDM, which together with VCDM Studio and Canapé facilitates establishing traceability in calibration changes. So typically calibration, you have a, a large number of people performing calibration, lots of values, lots of changes, and you need to understand who's done what, where, and when to be able to generate a new calibration set. So calibration data management systems such as VCDM, absolutely critical in that kind of scenario. Thank you very much for joining us today. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Of course, if you have any questions, if you have any topics for further episodes, please let us know. Please email us using our special email address, engineering.jigsaw at vector.com. Drop a comment wherever you found this video. Hit the bell if you want to subscribe, if you're watching on, on YouTube. If you're Turkish and you want to correct my pronunciation of, of Gubleki Tepe, Teşekkürler. Um, please, please feel free to do so. I'm, I, I, I will not pretend to be uh, any good at Turkish pronunciation, so I hope I got it right. Haven't offended anybody. I'm in Cunningham from GB. I hope you join us for another episode soon. Goodbye.